I'm in Bangkok today. I'm flying to the Philippines tomorrow, so I'm staying here for a day. And uh, yeah, whilst I'm here, I'm in desperate need of a haircut, so that's my task for this morning. And uh, yeah, there's loads of places you can get your haircut here, obviously, but I mean, I am a bit tight, but I'm also uh, I'm impatient. So I'm gonna go to these places that I've seen on the, some of the BTS stations, the MRT stations called Easy Cut. Um, and yeah, they, they're just like little booths. Uh, I've, I've never been in one, the little booths. And it says like, I think it's 150, 150 baht. So it's kind of, you might say, a bit more expensive than like your little backstreet places. Uh, but definitely cheaper than the sort of proper salons again, and shopping malls. So yeah, hopefully it's just sort of in the middle a little bit. So the one I'm going to, I've just given uh, a quick search on Google and it says there's one on ProRam 9 MRT, uh, which isn't far. I'm actually staying near, I can't pronounce it, I think it's Racha Prarok or something. Uh, which is on the airport rail link so i need to go one stop along there next to the mrt one stop along there and then i'm at Praram 9 hopefully i can get a haircut from there so yeah i will take you with me and see what it's like it's pretty quiet on the airport rail link this morning for anyone that doesn't know who's not watched my video about how to use the airport rail link i'll show you so I'm at Racha Prarot, I need to go to Makassan to connect to the MRT. So you just press that, it's on one already. 15 baht for your ticket, so find 15 baht. Unfortunately, they don't use the new 20 baht uh, notes. You can't put them in these machines, it's annoying. So I'm gonna put in 20, they're coming out as well. Yeah. 20, the token comes out. Get five bar change, right? And then we just go to a train. So I'm going one stop along in the direction of the airport. So you just find where it says train to Savannah Boom, and then I'm good to go. So I've got my ticket or token here. Wait on there, and it says either to Savannah Boom or to Playa Kai two directions it goes in. I'm going to Savannah Boom. Well, I'm not going one stop along in that direction. And there we go. It's about a five minute walk in between the uh, airport. So where you get off the airport rail link at Makassan down to the uh, MRT at Pechaburi. And uh, yeah, when you look out the window, you just see all the traffic and everything going on in Bangkok. And I was just thinking earlier, really, Bangkok is just like the craziest place, like the most interesting place in the world. I mean, I've just got here yesterday. I mean, I've been here loads of times before. I got here yesterday, and I'm walking down the street, and I saw someone on a motorbike just going along, and someone on the back, and he's holding a massive weed plant. It must have been like, God, it, was, it was huge, just a weed plant, like cannabis. I know it's sort of been semi-legalized over here, but it just made me think, where else in the world do you see that? Like, it's just, it's just not a thing, is it? It just doesn't exist. And then when I was going around, I mean, I've just started YouTube and I want to be able to try and take some like shorts videos. And there's just so many things. I mean, I miss half of them. I never, never quite think. I mean, I'm going to try and make an effort to think about it and actually film stuff. But you see just craziness everywhere, just absolutely everywhere you go. It's, it's crazy. There's just so many opportunities to, to film things. Uh, and hopefully at some point I'll actually get my phone out, get my camera out and film them. So yeah, I'm trying to connect right now though onto the MRT. So when you go on these, uh, you know, the subway stations, subway, MRT, BTS and all that, you do see a bit less craziness. It's all a bit more sanitized, uh, but it's still interesting. You still see some weird things happening that you just don't see in all the places. So yeah, you've got to love Bangkok. And the MRT is over there. It's like a massive green thing sticking out the ground. That's where you get onto the MRT. And one station, and hopefully I can get a haircut and stop looking like a, I don't know what I look like, someone with long hair. So let's see. And all the way along, there's places you can buy food, drinks. I mean, you've got a curry restaurant there. You've got someone selling sausages and things just here. Yeah, there's just so much going on everywhere. Lock boxes, you want some self storage. That's there behind me. So, yeah, here's the MRT for anyone that doesn't know what it looks like. A massive green box sticking out of the ground. It says Metro Mall, and I know the hairdressers that I'm trying to find is in a Metro Mall, but I think it's at the next station along. But if there's a Metro Mall here, there might be one here as well. I'm not sure, it might have just not come up on, uh, on Google, but we will see in a minute. So I've got to Pro Ram 
out of Program 9. Uh, and I'm gonna exit. I don't actually know where the hairdressers is that I'm looking for because there's like more than one exit. There's like six exits or something. So I'm gonna follow I'm gonna follow it for the Fortune Town Mall, which is like a big IT mall, which I want to go to anyway later. And hopefully I will find the uh, Metro Mall. If I can't, I can always come back in. So I'm guessing to get to the Metro Mall, you won't be in the MRT system. You only need to have a ticket or anything. You'll be able to just go in. So yeah, it should be around here somewhere. So I'll spin the camera around, show you what I can see. I'm just exiting. Okay, I'll be honest, I've been walking around in circles for a while. In the end, I had to resort to Google Maps. Uh, luckily, I don't know how, but it was actually accurate on the GPS. So it knew where I was. And the, the location of here, of EasyCut, was reasonably accurate. So yeah, I definitely didn't use any sort of local knowledge. Eventually, I managed to find the um, entrance to the Metro Mall. There's like an Amazon coffee. And as you said, Metro Mall, you go in and there you are. And then looking around, you've got your easy court where I'm gonna go. And then further along, you've got all the barber shops. It's all sorts in here. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't have known. It's kind of like a little hidden shopping mall. Uh, so yeah, let's turn the camera around and we'll go to the easy court. So by the looks of it, there's a little machine to put money in here, so it's 150. Hey, can you change it to English? It's touch screen, although we don't really need to change that. It just says haircut price, 150. Go on. Fifth is in. Go on. Hundreds in. I think we're gonna get a ticket. Oh. Try again. Hundreds in. Is it gonna work? And yes, it's gonna work. So we get a ticket, easy cut. Here we go. On my, my next. There you are. Thank you. Can I have just a uh, short on the back and size, like number two? Number this, this on? Yeah, number two, and then just. Okay. Yeah, okay. There we go, I'm done. My camera overheated whilst I was having my haircut, so it just cuts out. But at the end of the haircut, one thing they do here that I thought was brilliant that they don't do, certainly in England, I don't know about all the places here, they've got like a vacuum cleaner attachment. You can probably see it in the background there with like a brush on it and they vacuum up all the hair, or the loose hair, so you can just sort of carry on with your day. So you don't need to like go home, get changed or wash your hair or anything like that. It's a real uh, little innovation there. So yeah, if you want an easy cut, then get yourself down here. If you search on Google, there are actually loads of them, the easy cut places, not just here in Bangkok. There's loads in Bangkok, quite a few different BTS, MRT stations. Uh, I know for certain there's two in Hoi Hin, one in Market Village, one in Blueport in the basement of each. Uh, but yeah, there's loads. If you search on Google, they're all over. Really simple, well, easy, I guess. 150 baht, you just put your money in a little vending machine, get your hair cut, and then you can carry on with your day. So yeah, it really can't beat it. So. The lady that cut my hair, she uh, didn't speak much English. Her English was about as good as my Thai, so uh, don't be going in for banter because you might not get much. I think it's the same with most of them. Uh, but they're all very friendly, very nice. Um, yeah, so you can't expect anything else, really. It's not like you're going into some expensive salon where they're always cutting the hair of foreigners. Um, so yeah, if you just want a simple haircut, 150 baht, I couldn't recommend it enough. If you watched all of the video, if you got this far, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like and subscribe, I'll do more content around Bangkok and I'll be going to the Philippines in a few days, so I'll be doing content there as well. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.